What up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yes, Raj here with Super Cross Blog. And today I want to talk about Black Jesus Episode 1 uh, the divinity and the humanity of Aaron Magruder's Jesus. Um, of course, a lot of controversy, a lot of debate on this show. I personally DVR'd it. Um, if you wait a certain period of time, they don't get any uh, ratings once you uh, DVR it and don't watch it for a certain period of time. So, you know, that's what I did. Um, for my talk, you saw obviously a clip from Good Times. For those who didn't know, um, maybe you don't watch the show, but, you know, I don't know if this was this, what it was based on, this uh, the idea concept, but this was the first time I had ever heard of Black Jesus when I was little. It was from the show Good Times, and you, you saw in that clip that that portrayal of Jesus, that black Jesus, was actually the neighborhood um, wino who, when he got drunk, he would go around preaching to folks. And I saw some, you know, a lot of, you know, similarities within that and this Jesus, this Aaron Magruder Jesus, which is not the Jesus, of course, of the Bible. Um, now, when I heard about this show, of course, I was actually excited because I thought that he was going to paint Jesus sort of like if you're a fan of um, the Boondocks, I thought he would be sort of like a Huey, uh, somebody who was upstanding all right, sort of like this revolutionary, how Jesus would be in these times. And of course, when the clips and stuff like that started coming out, I certainly was not excited, um, like many Christians. You know, it's profaning, profaning the Lord's name, you know, and making Jesus out to be something that he's not. Um, I had the feeling, you know, watching this show, it's sort of like um, what some people call creaturism. Like people, like Aaron made this Jesus, you know, after his own heart, uh, made a Jesus uh, there was sort of like the Greek gods, how the Greek gods, you know, or you, you read, you know, Greek mythology, they would have a god, but he would have sort of like these human traits, like he would have these these flaws, and was sort of like a human, even though he was powerful. Um, he was really more like an advanced human instead of the true Jesus, who was fully God and fully man. I want to just talk about, you know, the different aspects of what I saw in this first episode. Um, now, you see sort of, I guess, this overarching theme of what Aaron thinks of Jesus. Um, it's sort of like this kind, helpful person trying to break up, you know, arguments, fights. When it first come on. He sees a guy, older, elderly gentleman, taking out the trash, and Jesus took the trash from him and helped the guy out. And so that's what Jesus, this Aaron's Jesus on this, you know, this kind, sort of compassionate person at first. But again, you see the divinity, uh, the humanity of the Jesus, and it was not like the humanity of the true Jesus. This course Aaron's Jesus is flawed it's Aaron's Jesus is a, is a normal human being who is who is flawed who committed sin um, of course we know you read the Bible Jesus was sinless but the Aaron Jesus is quite different you see that um, within the first scene as well because then this Jesus runs into a character played by John Witherspoon and this guy, like many people, came to Jesus for the wrong reason. And he's like, Jesus, you know, I need riches. I need you to give me the lottery number. He recognizes the divinity of this Jesus, but he comes to Aaron's Jesus for you know, greed reasons. And uh, Aaron, Jesus, of course, did not give in to that. He said, I can give you love and compassion and those type of things. And the way that Aaron, Jesus, responded was nothing like the character of Jesus. He 
instead of showing love to somebody who was um, hating him, he showed hatred back. He was cracking jokes. And you see with this Aaron Jesus as well, he cusses and uses profanity and things of that sort. So, again, this Aaron Jesus is just somebody in the image of man, some, some creation of man instead of true Jesus. Um, now, you did see, again, the divinity of Aaron Jesus, like he would know people's lifestyle, he would know, you know, their personal lives, that that sort of was a guy who wrote out a ticket and he told the guy he knew, you know, he was an alcoholic and things of this sort. And Aaron Jesus, at this time, showed some love towards him. He didn't try to get revenge and things of that sort. Uh, but on the flip side, the humanity side, this Aaron Jesus uh, is addicted to marijuana. And so much so that he wants to start up his own um, quote-unquote community garden in the guise of a community garden, but it's an actuality they're going to be growing marijuana plants. Um, I guess that's supposed to be funny. It wasn't funny to me, but um, but so again, you see the humanity side that this Jesus is flawed. He's a, uh, this Jesus is addicted, um, and we know the true Jesus again was perfect. He doesn't need marijuana or drugs. Uh, he certainly wouldn't be trying to sell drugs. Uh, this whole um, hood mentality. Um, this takes place in Compton. And that's what you see of this Jesus, like this whole, I'm trying to survive, survivorship. Um, instead of, we you know, the true Jesus, you know, was a carpenter, son. He wouldn't dare do anything like that. But this is Aaron's Jesus. Um, and, you know, basically, this, this Aaron Jesus is sort of like a homeboy. You know, you've seen the Jesus is my homeboy shirts. That's what this Jesus is. And that's how Aaron portrays this Jesus. Um, no authority. There are people who love him, but he's not seen as, you know, this authority figure. Uh, when he talks about, you know, dying for people's sins, it's sort of like, oh, okay, we heard that. Uh, and becomes sort of like this cliche stuff. Sort of like what now Christians think of Christians when, you know, when they tell them about the message of Jesus. It's like, oh, we heard all this stuff before. We get it, you know. So really that mentality and basically, again, they're just really showing the a flawed humanity, a flawed divinity, and it's not the true Jesus. Um, and what was really worst of all, I mean, there's a lot of bad stuff in him, but worst of all, uh, this Jesus did a, an an abomination. He lied. Um, they were arrested and they were caught. And he lied and said that his, I guess you could say, disciple wasn't with him when they went to do this illegal stuff. And then he did, you know, some quote unquote miracle to have a voicemail to make it seem like his friend wasn't there. And he just straight up lied. And, you know, that's just blasphemous. God does not lie. But again, according to Aaron's Jesus, this is supposed to be comedy. Um, and his whole thing is not, you know, salvation. This whole thing is smoking, drinking, and chilling. What sounds like just your typical, no, wait, I won't say it, I'm sorry. What sounds like your stereotypical um, viewpoint of black men from the hood, you know, just smoking, drinking, and chilling. And instead of this Jesus being a revolutionary, he is just a stereotype. And a bad one at that. So that's my thoughts. I uh, love to hear yours. See what costs blah. Kobe sucks, and I'm out. Triples.